Lena reports from the toilet. She didn't wash her hands. Mm. The photo like that, you can see why they call him Dr. Death. Uh, Mr. Mayor. Good morning. Um, Jan Goddard was looking for you earlier. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, um, I think what the papers are saying is it's disgusting. And then rest assured, Nurse Harper, the ravings of the tabloids are of little consequence to me. This is a routine change of a pulmonary homograft. It should cause us no problems. I know. I just perhaps you're more concerned about the surgeon than the surgical procedure. I thought the board weren't allowing you to continue pediatric practice. Then you shouldn't believe everything that you read. But if you have any personal concerns, please don't hesitate to express them directly. Or if you feel too uncomfortable to proceed. The board have called me in. Yes, I'm aware of that. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to say. If you have any doubts, you must articulate them irrespective of what you consider the implications may be. You must give your honest opinion. You know that I will. Good morning. Alistair, perhaps you could drop by at a more opportune moment. I'm not dropping by, I'm operating. What? Joe Simon's 13-year-old redo pulmonary homograph. That's first up, isn't it? I've been asked to cover your lists today. By whom? Jan Goddard. I'm sorry, I presumed you'd been told. Why is Alistair Taylor in my theatre? It's purely procedural, Anton. It's just for the current press interest. And so the board's decision is influenced by the tabloids? No. Is there any evidence of any misconduct on my part? Of course not. Some patients have already requested a different surgeon, Anton. It's, it's just a temporary measure, that's all. Subject to the conclusion of the inquiry and the claims against you. And so, in the meantime, I am to consider myself suspended? The board has confirmed its decision that you shouldn't operate until Mr. Campbell-Gore has completed his report. I see. Don't want to be seen taking unnecessary risks, that's all. You know how it works, Anton. The board's decision is final. You can continue in an administrative capacity, but Alistair Taylor is covering your lists today. I hope that's clear. Perfectly. I think we all know where we stand. Pressure's 48. So, uh, still losing blood. This isn't working. Where is Alistair? He's still at the Hadlington. What? He won't be here for another half an hour. He's supposed to be here. Shouldn't we get him into theatre? Move. Move. Pulmonary homograft. Pressures are dropping out. He's bled 300 mils in the last three minutes. What should I do? Alistair isn't here. He's in VF. Alex! What? Hey, hey, that's Maya. What's he doing with my son? I'm sorry. All right. Clear. No, start compressions. Let's get him down to theatre. There's no time. We need to get his chest open now. Close the blinds, please. Dress is off. Good. I'll need a scalpel, Chrissy. Scalpel. Sternal wire cutters. Quickly. Cute. Three, four, whoa, suction, spread it. No, I can't see, I need more suction. All right. Four a proline. It won't hold the valve. I can't get it to hold, Mr. Mayor. Gloves, please.
what's happening. Why have they shut the blinds? It seems we're doing everything we can for Joe. So what's Maya doing in there? Look, I know who he is. I don't want him near my son. Stop it, Lee. Lee! Out the way! Out the way! Have more blood standing by until theatre are on the way. Quickly, please, call the perfusionist. What are you doing? Taking him into theatre. Oh, no, you're not. Get away from him. Please. Leave it, Lee. Don't touch me. Will you stop it, please? Both of you. Don't bypass him. Got the purse strings in? Yeah. What about the suture? The suture is temporary. Very good, Mr. Keating. The homograph has to be reattached. We have about 20 minutes before Mr. Taylor gets back. We don't have time. Mr. Mayor? I agree. I think everyone here is aware of my situation. If anyone feels that they are unable to attend this operation, I will wholly respect their decision to leave. Mr. Adams. Good for later. Knife. Taylor has evidently used continuous suturing. I will be using continuous interrupted suturing. For a proline with plagiar, please. Suction. Status, please. Pressure's not improving, and the CBP's rising. I've also had to up his inotrope support. Mm. I suspect this may have triggered a pulmonary hypertensive crisis. We'll continue to close, Mr. Adams. There's nothing further we can do here. Let's get him into HDU, have the nitric oxide on standby. Mr. Mayor, will he make it? Well, let's hope so. For all our sakes. Sorry about that. Cardiologist dissected left main stem. Lucky I was there. Mr. Adams, why don't you allow Mr. Taylor to finish closing his patient? I'm sure that now that he's here, he'll want to do something to assist. All yours, Alistair. Ah, oh, Mr. Mayor, I've got these papers for you to sign. Not now, sister. The terms are perfectly acceptable, and I will fax the signature copy through immediately. I will. Thank you. Goodbye. Yes. I should never have put you in that position. The decision was mine entirely. You're suspended and under investigation. Yes, I'm aware of my situation and the implications of my actions. At the time, I was more concerned about the patient. But you... You risked everything. My personal circumstances are not relevant. I did what was necessary. I'm due in front of the board. And you should go. And whatever happened this morning should have no bearing on your evidence. But it does, doesn't it? Well, if your opinion of me has changed since this morning, that is for you alone to resolve. This matter will be concluded for us all by the end of the day, Mr. Adams, and that's all that need concern you. Now I have more pressing matters to attend to. to my son. I beg your pardon. Oh, I saw what you did. See, I know who you are. The child was in crisis. I did what was necessary to save his life. Oh, no, but you didn't, did you? Huh? Did you? Because my son is dying. He's dying because of what you did. How many other kids have you killed, eh? Huh? Lee? Don't you walk away from me! Lee! Mr. Mary, you're right. What are you doing? What's got into you? Please, take a seat, Mr. Adams. 
I just have a couple of questions, if that's all right. Of course. Mr. Mayor, did you operate today on a ten-year-old child? Yes, I did. You actually performed surgery on this child? Yes. His life was in danger. I don't think that's even relevant at this point. It was particularly relevant at the time. You're suspended with specific instructions not to operate under any circumstances. You're also subject to an investigation. Yes, I'm aware of that. Are you also aware of the implications to your career if anything should happen to that child? Yes, I am. Well, Mr. Adams clearly stated that you performed no surgery whatsoever. And then Mr. Adams has been extremely foolish. What? The facts are clear to us all, I believe. If Alistair Taylor had done a proper job in the first place and was there when he was needed, then Mr. Mayor wouldn't have had to do anything. Mr. Taylor's actions in this matter will be dealt with, Mr. Adams, as will yours. Thank you. You may leave now. This report has taken into account the number of high-risk cases undertaken by you. My conclusion, and that of the board, is that your surgical skills are exemplary and unquestionable. As to your conduct in the specific matters brought by the claimant, Dr. Kennedy, that has been fully and independently investigated and concluded to our absolute satisfaction. We're delighted this matter's been resolved and your return to the department will be of immediate effect. However, I should add at this point that Mr. Campbell Gore's report has inevitably raised some areas of concern which the board has agreed should be dealt with as a matter of urgency. Indeed. Firstly, it has been decided that the cardiothoracic teams within this hospital should no longer undertake TCPC operations where there is poor ventricular function. The low probability of success reflects badly on the hospital's performance rate. So, you are removing my discretion to decide when I operate and when I don't. Come on, Anton. You know it makes sense. Well, it makes sense if you believe that performance tables are more important than trying to save the lives of desperate people. My death rates will always look bad. Because patients come to me who are so ill that no one else will touch them. They know that I will go the extra mile if I can give them the chance of life. So where will these patients go when all surgeons are afraid to take a risk because failure would look bad on their performance indicator? The decision has been made. On a final matter, Mr. Mayor, it's also been noted that the actions of certain individuals has been particularly detrimental to the professionalism of your own team. Not only Miss Kennedy, but also Mr. Adams. The working relationship between yourself and your registrar has clearly affected clinical decision-making on more than one occasion. And in the light of more recent events, it is the recommendation of this inquiry that Mr. Adams be removed from your team with immediate effect. Well, I look forward to reading a full copy of the report. Mr. Adams. Why did you tell them? Because it was the truth. You were suspended. I was trying to protect you. I know. Loyalty is an admirable quality. Stupidity, when it threatens your own career, is not. You should have told them the facts. So, what happens now? You will be informed of their decision. There's nothing else that I can do. What about you? Me? I have resigned. What will you do then? I am 
have been invited to lead a program developing an artificial heart in Michigan, and I confirmed my acceptance today. What about your family? They'll be coming with me. So that's it then. That's it. Right. The Michigan team will be in need of a research fellow. You might wish to consider applying. Anton, you don't have to do this. But I choose to. The office will be cleared by the morning. Perhaps you could inform Ms. Goddard for me. My God, the report totally exonerated you. You know me well enough to understand that my concern is for my patients. I will not compromise that. I will not ask permission to operate. I will leave the politics to those who wish to pursue such distractions. Well, I appreciate that's your decision. I'm sure everybody here will be sorry to see you go. Good luck. Likewise. Mr. Adams. I've uh, considered my options. And if you're serious, I'd like to apply. Your application will be duly considered.